In this video, I'm sacrificing four days to save $38 by making a Lululemon-inspired belt bag for my wife's birthday. Patterns available in the description below. For my wife's birthday last year, I turned a big purse into a smaller purse. The need for this brief is similar. Make something that'll hold her stuff, but it also has to have a different style, so she has a casual option as well as a traditional one. Some brands that are already doing great work in this space are Lululemon, Patagonia, and The North Face. That's how much the Lululemon bag costs. The deadline is her birthday, which is in about five days. And the materials that I'm using for this is an old pair of Gore-Tex ski pants from the North Face. These pants might as well have been featured in the sisterhood of the traveling pants. I got them like eight years ago from my cousin, and I'm pretty sure he got them from a friend of his. And last winter, I lent them to my roommate, who's just learning how to ski. He must not have got the whole pizza and french fry strategy working because he took a digger and the pants split right up the crotch. I mean, hey, I've repaired ripped pants before, including my own suit pants that I split dropping a low at a wedding. But these ski pants were beyond repair. But I kept the pants because I love the material and I knew I could reuse them in a future project. The material of these pants is a black nylon ripstop. Ripstop is a great technical fabric because of its strength to weight ratio. Strength comes from thicker threads that are evenly interwoven in the thinner base material. It's these thicker threads that are great at preventing small tears from spreading. The ripstop outer layer has a waterproof backer from Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is a popular brand with adventurists because its membrane is waterproof and windproof from the outside, moisture wicking and breathable from the inside. Gore-Tex has an impressive resume with trips to Antarctica and even the moon. It's this technical reputation that caught the eye of streetwear brands like Nike and Supreme. And Gore-Tex is now an identifiable logo on the streets of New York as well as the peaks of the Himalayas. I wish I could say I designed this bag as an original, based off the parameters specified in the brief, but I really just took the design of the Lululemon belt bag. But that doesn't mean I threw the brief out the window. All the features of the Lulu bag meet the needs of the brief. It was a challenge reverse engineering Lulu's pattern based off images from the internet. As with all projects, 
Most of the thought and effort come in the design and planning stage rather than the assembly. In this stage, I have to conceptualize a 3D object on a 2D surface. I have to ask myself, how are these features of the bag going to interact? I have to come up with the proportions and parts and seam allowances for zippers and trim. And after I come up with the pattern, all I have to do is cut and sew. Which, trust me, is a lot easier said than done. Just because the mental work was over, doesn't mean the assembly was a walk in the park. But over time, I could see the bags start to come to life. There had to be a lot of layering so the cortex membrane wasn't exposed. The thickness was a big frustration. I spent more time fixing the sewing machine than fixing the back panel to the side panel. Nightmare. But the challenges of assembly made it that much sweeter when it was done. Honestly, the bag came out a lot better than I was expecting. I almost wanted to keep it for myself. But I already dropped hints to my wife that I was making her birthday gift. While my wife was bummed when I first told her I was making her birthday gift, she seemed super stoked when she opened it. It means that much more that I made it instead of just buying it at the store. <laughs> 